and it is deja vu. It's quarter to seven. <laughs> Wasn't that the time I spoke to you yesterday? But anyway, oh, where to look? <laughs> Nowhere. Um, I'm gonna go down now, get my coffee ready. And that's it, we're off. Day two, last day. Um, again, yesterday went really well, so I'm not worried about today. After this, Ash has a nail appointment, so I'll probably run over there with her. And then we'll be home and figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. And that, my friends, is it. So I'm not really sure how much vlogging will be done again today. I said yesterday, yesterday that I wasn't gonna put it up if it was less than five minutes. Well, after I edited bits out, it was uh, under five minutes, but I figured let me put it up anyway. Um, I just don't feel right not putting it up on a daily anymore, so it went up. It's got, well, you'll see it, it's going up. But anyway, on that note, I'll love and leave you for a bit, and we will see you along the way. Bye, guys. I did say the keyword slowing. As much as I said it was going to be humid and horrible today, I think it was more humid yesterday. There goes Pete. I have to take two cars today because we have to break everything down. Pretty skies again today. Optimistic now that we'll never not find a parking space. Even for yearbook meetings, there's like no excuse. So much. Hey guys, there's Pico and he and Mike are going to bring out the rest of the equipment. Ash and I tried a bunch of bags. So we're now heading home to let Roxy out because Ash has an appointment in an hour. But this is the way out now. All the buses to take all the teams to where they're going. I saw some footballers carrying stuff and they're going down for practice. Practice? Yeah. got to park over there so that's good I don't feel as bad so, guys, it is 3.59 we're on the way for Ashley's nail appointment hopefully she's got the AC blasting Pete just got home so Roxy is no longer alone we sat with it for a while I saw it this guy just totally went through way too slow sorted out a few things and now we're off and it has been mega hot today 87 and it as much like it does feel like 107. Poor Ash got a migraine through the second or third period. I couldn't see, but still stuck it out. And uh, now we're going to go do this anyway. And then I'm going to go home and eat because I want to eat my sandwich I ordered at lunchtime. And that is going to be my dinner. And everybody else, you've got stuff left, don't you?
look at all the pretty colour stuff as she's looking at the Halloween stuff. There's one that says gold. Nice. Bobo drink up. Good evening everyone it is three minutes to seven i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna be awake for much longer i am absolutely shattered ash and i got back around uh 6 30 20 to 7 and i've just had my first piece of food of the day i had half the sandwich that i got that i ordered at lunchtime and it was jolly good i was gonna stay downstairs but pete's laying on the couch he's showered and everything and i'm sure he's gonna fall asleep shortly he is done in i'm done in ashley's done in and poor ash has to be up at 5 30 in the morning because she has an early shift at sephora the other news is <laughs> pete and i are continuing with the yearbook um long story short the staff were reached out to and it seems like there was no takers on the yearbook and as stubborn as we are we will not have them go without a yearbook that they deserve and I know that might sound very big-headed but we've had tons of compliments especially on last year's book and a lot of our friends have kids that are seniors this year and uh, seeing as nobody wanted to take it over Pete spoke to the principal today and just said soon I'll just carry on with it so that is that so now I have to put my thinking cap on. We have to think of a theme. I had a few, a few themes that I wrote down <clears throat> last April, believe it or not, when I was sitting waiting for a yearbook meeting. Are you all right, madam? And um, because the school's under renovation and construction and that, I'm kind of thinking of things on that level. So we've just got to figure out how we can do a theme Roxy, are you okay? Have it, you know, continue through the book and be, you know, bring the front and the middle and the back of the book together and the cover and stuff like that. So that is where we're at at the moment. So we, are, we haven't given anything away. <laughs> we're still doing it. So many kids came through today. So many kids. We had quite a few large classes of three classes or more and... Um, yeah, the humidity hit us full force around 10.30. We were all boiling. Um, half of the windows in the gym have been boarded up because of the construction on the outside. So we could only open windows on one side and there was just no air. It was, we were boiling. We didn't even have the fan on our end. We, I was li literally like an old granny. I had a piece of paper. <laughs> I was like, blah, 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 blah. But um, yeah. Whew, saw so many kids some of my yearbook staff came through and they're like when are we starting meetings so that was good they, they have no idea that we weren't going to do it in the meantime because they were on school holidays but anyway i think over the last two days we've probably got i'm hoping 11 1200 um students photographed we're not going to do a makeup day like we have in the past because we found it doesn't really work and the kids don't show up then either but what we're gonna do when we're there doing the senior portraits during the week, we are gonna take the background for the underclassmen because there was a, a new teacher that didn't come in till 3.15 and we'd already broken everything down. So he will need to be photographed for the book. I've got a pumpkin drink from Starbucks. Tomorrow I refuse to leave the house. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna feel it tomorrow because I can already feel it in my neck and my back. They asked me at Nails when I was there with Ash just now, Sue, you want a massage? I said, I would, but I've just spent nine hours in the gym because we were there like seven, eight and a half hours in the gym. I said, I, I, I don't think I should. <laughs> they just started laughing. But then someone else came in and wanted the nails done, so it's fine. But uh, I know I feel it, my neck, I, and I couldn't stop yawning. We seemed to be in there for ages because Ash was having her nails filled and stuff. The date today, everybody knows. It's a day none of us will ever forget. Um, like I've said in the past, I normally sit and watch the reading of the names and I didn't, but they did, 
you know, um, the principal came over the loudspeaker at the right time this morning and was talking about it. And um, I welled up. Yep, I knew I would. I, every time I think about it, I just go back to that day. And like I've said, I've not lost anyone personally, but a friend of mine lost a husband. My sister-in-law lost a cousin. Another friend lost a cousin. Another friend lost a brother. So, you know, it's close to home. We're not that far from the city. It's very close to home. And it even affected us here. I remember my parents couldn't get through on the phones. Everything seemed to go out. And it was just months of people just walking around go what the hell happened but anybody out there that was affected lost people my send my love and prayers to you all and as I was sitting there and they were talking this morning I'm looking at the kids and I turned around to Pete and I said you want to know something I said not one of these kids were born not one of these kids in this school was born and you know to them it's something that happened in the past you know because they weren't here for it but you can see like we all just like got quiet and now like we we get it is that ash is off friday and saturday which is amazing she goes mom friday i'm not getting up till i actually wake up she goes i'm not setting my alarm i hope we don't have to do anything i'm like nope um and she has another saturday off in yonk so friday night we are going to go over to the football game for our lads the band is all going as well. So we're gonna go over to that field that we go to and watch the watch the game. Peter's obviously taking pictures. And then Saturday night, we are planning on going to the first band competition, which is in Connecticut somewhere, and um, support the band and get pictures for the yearbook. So we're off and running, guys. Um, I don't know when our feet are gonna hit the ground probably around Thanksgiving, I would say, because we're up and running now. We've got to get as much done as possible. And now we've got to get a theme in order and get a yearbook meeting set up in the next couple of weeks. So we are going to be run, run, running. So on that note, I am going to love and leave you guys for this evening because like I said, I'm shattered. So I hope everyone's had a brilliant, brilliant uh, Wednesday, whatever it is you did today. Um, I hope it was a good one and we'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.